to pray for the Holy Ghost again I want us to pray and we want to look at the story of Ezekiel I am sure most of us we know the story of Ezekiel chapter 47 verse 4 the Bible talks about Ezekiel having this encounter where he he goes where the hope where the Spirit of God leads him into the waters and he talks about when he went into the waters it was first knee high and when he continued to go it was then until his until his waistline and then the Bible continues to talk about when he when he was when he went so deep into the waters that it wasn't knee high anymore the measure that we were where he was was already can we go to the next one I think it's verse 5 yeah 
Number five, thank you. The Bible says he measured off another thousand, but now it was a river that I could not cross because the water had risen and was deep enough, enough to swim in the river that no one could cross. We want to pray right now because as I said in the beginning, when we come into the presence of God, we have to draw, we need to get something from him. There's something about the Holy Spirit. And I want us to pray right now and ask the Holy Spirit to take us deeper. We want to go so deep to the, we want to go so deep to the extent that we are that we are going to lose control the bible says it was deep enough to swim in the river in that point ezekiel had no control over his body anymore he was so deep that he could not control himself so we want to pray right now we want to ask the holy spirit to cover us to the extent that we lose control sometimes we are limiting ourselves because we want to have some control over certain things but we need to leave the Holy Ghost to take over. So we want to pray right now and ask the Spirit of God. May you come upon us. Cover us to the extent that we lose our control. We have come to draw from you. And we have come to lose control over ourselves. May you take the control over our lives. Especially during this fast that we are doing. Holy Ghost, may you take the full control. I want you to lift up your voice and cry out for the Spirit of God. Ask him to cover you. Ask him to baptize you. Ask him to take you deeper. To take you deeper to the new dimensions. Ask him to take you deeper. The essence of our past is to come near to God. The essence of our past is to have a stronger relationship with God. I want you to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to take you deeper. To take you deeper. To take you deeper. Come on, Casey, lift up your voice. Come on, Casey, lift up your voice. La bracuta li a celebe shala ba 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 ba. Reke celebe zili zili a shala ba leke celebe sha. Lima celebe zali a shala ba 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 ba. Reke cholo bo zili zili a celebe sha li a shala ba 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 ba. Reke celebe zili zili a shala ba celebe sha. Leka zili zili a shala ba 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 ba. Oh Holy Ghost, take us deeper. Holy Ghost, we want. To go deeper, take us deeper into new dimensions. Oh, as we are passing, as we are, as we are strengthening our relationship with you, Holy Ghost, take us deeper. Holy Ghost, take us deeper. Holy Ghost, take us deeper. Loko tolo mo siya talaga, re 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 kami talaga na katalabesha. Oko tolo mo siya talaga. Shukani atelebe, arababa kwa nebe.
ago at my workplace and I just want to share with you guys if you allow me. So I have um, recently started an old job that I'm doing now, um, just temporarily. And at this workplace there were people when I, st when, I came, when I first came to the UK, this was one of my first jobs that I was doing and there were people who are left there and these people are still at this workplace. And there's one particular guy, he's, really, he's a really nice guy and he's in his late early 40s I would say he's a German guy as me and we we never have been really close or something but in the last few days because we were the only ones who are working on this project we have having some conversations just normal conversations and there was yesterday this incident where I was just minding my business doing my work and he came over and he started conversation with the conversation with me and why we were having the conversation, I was just asking him about his life, why he was in UK and where his family was and everything, etc., etc. And all of a sudden, he was telling me that he communicates with spirits. All of a sudden, bear in mind, I didn't ask him, I didn't, like, we... We didn't talk about any religious, any religion or something. He just told me point black that he communicates with spirits. And he communicates with creation and everything and all of that. And when I was sitting there, I was like, wow. Does he know who I am? Does he know who my father is? Like, does he know who I am? And the Holy Spirit took me to the 
to this Bible verse in, I think it was in Job, um, yeah, it's in Job 27, verse, verse 7, the Bible says, let my enemy be exposed as wicked, let my adversary, adversary be proven guilty. So when he was revealing the secret to me, I was a bit baffled because I wasn't expecting that, that he would just come to me and tell me, listen, I communicate with spirit and I asked him how and he was telling me that he 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 has been doing that since he was a little boy and he's been mind he's already in his 40s he was like yeah I'm doing that since I was a young boy and um, I've been revealing things to people and people are really like I can tell them about their future and about their past and everything and I was like wow okay and I was asking the Holy Spirit what is going on and I started to pray in tongues and I started to pray in tongues and I was like why would he reveal it to me and the Holy Spirit was misministering to me he was saying where light is darkness cannot be comfortable where light is there the enemy is going to be uncomfortable to the extent that he will come to you and expose himself and then I was asking myself again does he know who I am does he know who my father is? And I immediately said, I said, listen, I only believe in the only way and truth, and that's Jesus Christ. You may communicate to creation and all these spirits, but I communicate to the creator, and that is God Almighty. And he was kind of doing this. And I was just looking at him, I said, <laughs> and I was like, Holy Ghost, when you, if, you, if you want me, I'm ready to slap him or something. Just let me know, I'm ready to fight. And I don't know if you guys heard, if, if I told you about the dream that I had, I said, I'm not going to look, overlook over myself or underestimate myself anymore because I know who I am trusting into. But what I'm trying to say with this story is that there are people who are sent at your workplace, at your uni. There are people who are sent where you are living just simply to destroy and to devour people's destiny. I am only temporarily at this job place. Listen, I'm not really, I don't want to stay there. But for him to come to me and to expose to me, as to expose himself to me, I said to myself, okay, let the war begin. Let the God that answers by fire be God. And I said, I'm going to pray against him. But I just want us to encourage ourselves and pray. I want us to pray right now because there's a reason why you have been sent to that workplace. There's a reason why you are in this family. And there's a reason why you are, you are in this university. I want us to pray right now. We want to pray and just ask God to, to expose any evil agent that has been placed where you are. That has been placed in your family. That has been placed in university. That has been placed at your workplace just to come and to destroy. The Holy Spirit was literally clearly saying, where light is darkness is going to be uncomfortable so we want to pray because we are kingdom ambassadors we are coming in the name of God as a light and the enemy needs to be exposed so I want you to lift up your voice and pray for your family pray for your university pray for your workplace I want you to lift up your voice and ask God expose any evil spirit let them come out because it's about death and life I want you to pray I know we are tired but God is asking where are my true intercessors where are the people who can stand in the trap I want you to pray and ask God to expose any shizzle to expose any gehazi spirit
Jesus. So when this guy revealed himself unto me, I said, wow. But one thing that I also realized is the only reason why he revealed himself to me was not because of my name or because of my status or because I have a certain, because uh, I'm from Africa or something. The only reason why he revealed himself and the only reason why he was uncomfortable is because of the presence of God that is within me. I can proudly say that I'm carrying the presence of God. I can proudly say that I am a kingdom ambassador. I can proudly say that I am carrying the weight of God in me. So I want us to pray right now. I just want us to pray and ask God to increase his presence, to increase his power, to increase his fullness in us. We want to pray and ask God not only for 10% or only for 80%. We want to have the fullness of God in us. This is going to cause the, 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 the enemy, the world of darkness to become uncomfortable. Not because we are beautiful, not because we are cute, not because of any status that we have. It is simply because of the presence of God. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 2 verse, chapter 9 verse, sorry, chapter 2 verse 9 to 10. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The Bible says all the fullness of Godhead bodily. And you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. The Bible says you are only complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. So I want you to pray right now. I want you to pray and ask God, please never leave me. Wherever I go, let your presence be manifested. Let your presence be manifested. Wherever I step into, let them be exposed by themselves. Wherever I step into, let them be a manifestation. When we go to scripture, we see Peter. People were bringing the sick people to him for a shadow to heal him. If a shadow has this power, I believe that your aura can make the enemy uncomfortable. It is the aura of God. So I want you to lift up your voice and pray that the presence of God will be manifested in your life. Wherever you step into, let God be manifested. Let, let lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray for the fullness of God. Lift up your lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray for the presence of God. Lift up your voice and pray for the glory of God to be manifested in your life. Wherever you are, wherever you are finding yourself, let the presence of God be manifested. Oh, when you're in the city of London, wherever you are, if you are going to a shop, if you're going to your workplace, if you're going to university, let the presence of God be manifested. All the Bible says, Peter, his shadow was healing sick people. His shadow was healing sick people. How much more when the presence of God expose and heal the people about you? You are the carrier of his glory. You are the carrier of his glory. You are his carrier. You are his carrier. Oh, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Pray for the manifestation of God. Pray for the manifestation of God. Oh, we have learned that God may not do his things without any man. Although we can do without any man. I want you to obey yourself and pray. Let the manifestation of the fullness of the Godhead happen in your life. Pray for the manifestation of God. Pray for the manifestation of God. Oh, when I go to the Bible, the Bible talks about Elijah. 
future. He was a dead man, but his presence was carrying power. He was a dead man, but his presence was carrying power. How much more you, you are alive, are carrying the power of God. Let me tell about him, I tell him, I want you to pray for the power of God. For the manifestation of the fullness of the presence of God. I can't tell him a shibi a day. Yeah, can't tell him a day a ton of a. Rock a ton of a in the lava shay. Yeah, can't tell a in the lava shay. Rock a ton of a in the lava shay. I want you to pray for the fullness of God. I want you to pray for the power of God. For the Bible says, and of all principalities and power is complete in you. Let us all of us love the brutal day. Let us all of us be my television. Elisha was a dead man who was carrying the power of God. How much more shall you, should you carry the presence of God? Come on, pray and don't get tired. Certain things can be only obtained by prayer. Oh, pray for the manifestation. Pray for the fullness. Pray for the manifestation. Let God be a Talaba. Let God be a Talaba. Look at Talaba. Oh, God says. Your weakness, I am stronger. God says, in your weakness, I am stronger. Oh, Father God, I acknowledge without you, I am nothing. Let your power be manifested. Let your fullness be manifested. I am weaker. Come on, pray. Few more seconds. I want you to pray, pray. Who can be a teller? Certain things can only be grasped with prayer. I could be a television. Let your spirit matter. I could be a teller. For God to take over, rapper to be a television. He must be a teller. everything that we have prayed for and after everything that we are still going to pray about, I just want us to pray for one thing because being a kingdom ambassador or working, executing the work of God, we need simply the grace in everything that we do in everything that we pray for, we need the grace of God we have heavy responsibilities but the only thing that will make us stand is the grace of God. Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9, God said, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. Today, I really acknowledge that I am weak. I am weak because I need God. And I want you to pray and just ask God for the grace just the grace to run this race and to accomplish it because we don't want to fail. Many times Pastor Randolph has prayed over us and he always says that we are not going to fail. But I want us to continue also to pray and still ask God for his grace. 
He says, my grace is sufficient. We don't need anything else but the grace of God. After everything that we are going to pray, after all the fire, the glory of glory, after everything, we still depend on the grace of God. It is the grace of God. God that we need. It is the grace of God that will make us stand. It is the grace of God that will make us run. It is the grace that with this the grace of God that will make us continue and to continue and to run and to run and to not get tired and to continue to tarry, to continue to run until we accomplish and fulfill what God has called us to do. So my only prayer point for now it's just that we pray for the grace nothing else you don't need to shout you don't need to walk around you you can be just where you are and just pray sincerely from the depth of your heart i just want you to be very honest and ask god to help you god is going to only to help people who truly seek him god is only going to reveal his grace unto those who truly seek him and i want us to humble ourselves in this moment and just pray and ask god please let your grace come upon me as he says my grace my grace is sufficient we don't need anything else we don't need nothing else but the grace of God come on KC lift up your voice and pray for the grace of God just pray pray that God will have grace upon your life pray that God will have grace upon your family grace upon KC Grace of our pastor and his family. We cannot do anything without the grace of God. It is the grace of God that gave Paul the power to continue. It is the grace of God that gave the apostles the strength to continue. To continue to run this race until they finished it. Oh Father, we come and we are just asking for your grace. We are just asking for your grace to run this race. We are just asking for the grace. We want to fulfill these assignments. We want to accomplish our ministry. But without your grace, we cannot obtain. Without your grace, we cannot arrive where we have to arrive. Our ministry needs grace. Our ministry needs grace. Everything that we do needs grace. At the end of the day, it is the grace of God that is sufficient. It is the grace of God that is sufficient. Come on, Casey, lift up your voice and pray for grace. For grace, only for grace. For grace and only for grace. I want you to pray for grace. He says, for my strength and faith, perfect and weakness. We have to acknowledge that in everything that we do, and in ministry, Anything that we do in our ministry, all the glory belongs to God. And only in our weakness, His strength is being made perfect. Arabatinia Televesha, Rabazulia Telama Televesha Lababa, Rekatinia Telama.
Come on, fill this room with worship.
To the 